Hey, it's Crafty Kitty. I'm here to share with you a, thr a thrift store and a yard sale haul. Um, I'm going to show you my all-time favorite item that I found at the thrift store just recently. And I think you'll know why when you see it. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's actually pretty fragile. It's uh, It has a little stopper in here as well. And I don't know why, but there seems to be water in here. I think maybe they rinsed it out or something at the thrift store, but it was $3.99. Um, I thought it was worth it because I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> something for my bar cart, which I haven't shared with anybody yet, but I will soon. Um, so this is just a hodgepodge of different thrift stores like Salvation Army, St. Vincent's de Paul, and uh, the other thrift store and the yard sale stuff. So at the St. Vincent's, I've got this whole thing for a dollar. And what it's inside is all kinds of bling. Embellishment bling. And it's, it, I'm pretty sure it's from the dollar store, Dollarama. And uh, whoever had it just cut it up into little squares to store better. So I got that from um, Salvation Army. I got this cute little box, which is actually original from Dollarama. And it was only 99 cents. I think these ones were $3 at the Dollarama, but I'm not sure. I can't remember for sure if that's how much they were. Uh, at this other thrift store, or at the other St. at the St. Denis de Paul, I, met, I got these two flower bouquets. I just like the blue that is in there, and it was a buck fifty. So it's a pretty good buy. They actually had a bag full, um, not a bag full. There was like four of these inside one bag, and they put six fifty on it. I don't know how they got six fifty when only two were a dollar fifty, but hey, I got the two I wanted. That was fine for me. Um, at this other thrift store, which I never know the name of, um, I'm not quite sure what it's called or anything, uh, I found this flashing, um, flashing light for your garden. It's an LED light up. And it was, uh, I think she charged me 50 cents for it because there was no price on it. And as a free gift, they gave me this little sponge it's a, for a foundation, cream, or lotion. It's a natural sponge. Natural makeup sponge. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> also, at that store, I got... No, this is a different one. I think it's called the BB or something. Anyways, I got these. They're just a bunch of little charms. I'm not quite sure what they're for. They say bead landing and sea craft. So they're kind of like blues and greens. And this was only 50 cents. So for all those beads, it was a pretty good deal. And then I got this little bird at the Salvation Army. He was a big 99 cents. And he's really nice. And he's heavy. He's really solid, too. So if I put him there. Well, how about I make him face the camera so you can say hello. There he is. He's so pretty. I love the paint that is on him and everything. Looks like holly berries. I hope he's not a Christmas bird. I think it's a blue jay. And also from the through Salvation Army, I got this cute little thing. Reminds me of my puppies. It kind of looks has the same shape of face as a dachshund. So I got this little guy, and it was $1.99. I think it's originally from Michael's. Not quite sure, but I think it is. Also on that, I found this cute little guy. It's a little dish with the same picture, and it was $1.99 as well. Oh, it is from Michael's. This was originally $7.99. <laughs> Crazy. Um, and I got this for my fairy garden. I know I haven't shown you guys it, but I am not haven't quite finished it up. But I thought this was so pretty. And I mean, look at that. It was only $0.99 cents as well. Really like that. Found this brown tablecloth. Plastic tablecloth. I don't know. I don't know why I bought this. 
Probably because it was brown and I hadn't seen any brown tablecloths around in my area. So picked that up. It was only 99 cents. Yes, I know you can probably get it brand new at a uh, dollar store for a buck. But hey, they didn't have it. And then I got this. This cute little horse trailer. I think it was a, it's a piggy bank or was, I'm not sure. It has that at the tip. I'm not quite sure where you would slide money in it. So I'm not quite sure if it actually is a piggy bank or not, but I got this so that I can put it with, uh, in my garden out front. So I got that. And these are from yard sales that I just happen to be driving by. Now these little guys, they're just like, um, you know, look like little first place ribbon things or something. Those were a quarter. I found these cute paper clips. They're from Ikea. They're all squared off and everything. Uh, oh, this was the other thing for, I got for a quarter. Was this little uh, Austin, mini Austin Cooper. And it lid comes up. I thought this would be cool in a fairy garden of some type, or maybe not. I don't know. I just like the little car. I thought it was cool. I just bought it. A guy just looked at me like that's crazy. Um, I found these at an E and an O. <laughs> Why? I don't know, but E O. <laughs> uh, I paid. These were at the at the. Oh, what is that thing called? Yard sale. <laughs> It's kind of late doing this video, but these were only like 99 cents each. They charged me a dollar or whatever you want to say. And then at, I got this bowl, which I thought was really nice. And it's pretty thick and solid. It's Mayfair and Jackson. And I really like this. It's a really nice, nice bowl. I'm going to put back over where it was. Sorry, my throat's getting kind of dry. I'm just going to take a quick sip of my Pepsi. Oh, that's better. I got this little bird, too, for $1.99. Oh, $1.99. cents. Little gold guy. He's going to go somewhere, too. Um, I got this arrow. I'm pretty sure it's from the Dollarama. It's probably 4 bucks. Paid a dollar for it. Want to light up things. Then I got these um, tool looking kind of um, curtains. They were two bucks a pack. They're still wrap wrapped up in their actual packaging at the yard sale. So I paid two bucks for each one. It's a, like a mosquito netting of types. So use that. Um, I got this, which is supposed to be a dog food dish, but those are too big for my pups' dishes. I'm probably going to put flower pots inside here, and I love this color. And I'm pretty sure it came from Michael's. There is a little tag on here, but don't know for sure. So, who knows? Then I found this box, which was $1.95. And I just thought it was pretty. So I just picked it up. I like what was on it. It says dream for tomorrow, hope for the future, and inspire for today. So I like that. And I got this. I'm not quite sure what's in, but I think it's a I think it's a palm tree or something like that. Mural. Yeah, it's for beach mural for um, decorating for a luau party or something. It was only 95 cents. That over here, I had to put all this stuff away. I also got at that thrift store, I got this really cute tissue paper. Look at that, it's so retro. It's like psychedelic 60s. And <laughs> I found this wrapping paper. Look at it. It's pretty awesome. Look at that chicken. There's a little pig. And there's a horse right here. This is cute. Um, I have in mind to send this to a, part of it to a friend of mine, Kathy, who's coming up roses. 
she does junk journals and so I thought this would be pretty good I'll send her a couple of sheets of these to add it to her junk journal and then I found this um, tissue paper as well and it's so vintagey looking and I'm pretty sure it's fairly old See, it's just gorgeous um, and then there was this wrapping paper and it's again it's like retro I think it's so pretty so I'm gonna send pieces of this to my friend Kathy so she can do her junk journals because she makes junk journals and she makes awesome junk journals so the next couple of things are just these that's all there is to it just little bits and pieces of paper that I found at uh, this thrift store and it's all kind of vintagey looking Look at this one. And then there's this one. And this is one of my, and this is more newer, I think. Doesn't tell me when it was made, but look at this one. That is so shabby chic. I just love it. I think it is awesome. Totally awesome. I'll put that away after. Then I found this bag, also. <laughs> they were all just hanging up one behind the other, and I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. This is just a bag, but I like that print, so that's why I picked it up. I thought it was really cool, and on top is a tree. And then this caught my eye. It's dinosaurs. So cute. My um, son Sam loves dinosaurs when he's little. He still kind of does. He kept all his dinosaurs. Then there's this kind of space one. Looks like it's from like the 80s. And then there's this one. And that was it for that, for the papers. But, I mean, those are pretty cool papers. Like, And they were all only like 60 cents each for each bag. So I kind of figured it was worth it. I liked it. And uh, I think my friend Kathy will like a few pieces of this as well. So, I thought those were really good deals. Then I found this. Don't ask me why I bought this, but I did. It's a letter P. It was uh, two ninety five in the ads from Michaels. But uh, I'm not quite sure what the P could stand for. Anybody want to give me some suggestions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment. Please be nice <laughs> with, the, with the comments. And uh, I got a couple more things to show you here. These were two bucks each. So it's this. It's a nice. It's actually handmade. It looks like it's just um, shims, actually. To tell you the truth is what it looks like. And then I paid $2 for that one. And then... I got, they painted one and it was a red, they painted it red, it was this blonde color on the back, and this was two dollars. I really, really like those, because I'm going to reuse these in something else, because I don't really care for the picture that's on there. Sorry about that. They fell over. One more second. Oh my goodness. And I bought this globe at a yard sale. Why? I don't know. I just always wanted a globe. <laughs> and so I got the globe. Um, I'm thinking of doing a DIY with it. And like painting it maybe gold and white. I'm not quite sure. But give me an opinion down in the comments. What do you think I should do with that globe? If I should just leave it alone or if I should paint it? Because I'm not quite sure. I have um, a couple more things I have to grab. So I'm going to pause you just for a sec. Okay, so I got this picture. From the thrift store. And I find, think it is really pretty. And it was $2.95 for this. Really, really like it. Um, I just realized the other things I have, I can't show you yet. Because I bought those for the $5 Goodwill challenge that Hillary at 
Old World Home is hosting. Um, be sure you guys keep an eye out for that video. It'll be coming June 22nd, I believe, is the upload date. I'm not sure. But if you go check out Hillary's channel, you'll see the invite. And if you're interested, you should really join on that collaboration that she does. It is a lot of fun. You see a lot, you meet lots of new people and you get to see all the things that other people find and how they decorate with it. So that's everything from my thrift store haul. Stay tuned for my $5 Goodwill challenge for the summer coming up soon. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know when I post something new, hit the bell button beside the subscribe button. And let's all get crafty. Bye-bye.